let's take a look at your Caribbean report for tonight. As we wind down the month of May, it is important to recognize it's a very important month in Trinidad and Tobago as Kamla Prasad Vissasar celebrates her one year in office. And in doing so, she intends to visit many institutions around the island to promote growth in the country. One of the many ceremonies she will be attending will be the renaming of the Crown Point Airport, overseeing the new buses at Scarborough Espalade with Minister Jack Warner, the opening of a new metal institution and industry on Trinidad and Tobago, and the institution of a new electronic birth certificate registration that will be administered in many hospitals around Trinidad and Tobago. These new machines will be overseen together with the Legal Affairs Minister, Prakash Ramadar. And in St. Kitts and Nevis, Prime Minister Dr. Denzel Douglas, who is a student of medicine, pharmacology, and biochemistry, says he will do everything in his power to stop out the illegal use of marijuana in his country. He did acknowledge that there is an appropriate medical ingredient extracted for the treatment of glaucoma and that it has been worked on in Jamaica and several states in the United States permitted by law to use marijuana by persons to ease severe chronic pain. Marijuana can be used for medical purposes and that it has been well established. But at the moment, it is illegal and an abused drug here in our country and we shall do everything to stamp it out. Too many of our young people have been confused, at a large extent by the use of marijuana, to get into serious crimes. Dr. Denzel Douglas and the government of St. Kitts has reaffirmed its position that the use and abuse of marijuana is illegal and that everything will be done to stamp it out. And finally, in St. Lucia, police on the Caribbean islands say they wrongly announced that six local men have been charged with raping two British women. Acting Assistant Police Commissioner Francis Henry says investigators are still interviewing several suspects in connection with the incident and no charges have been filed. Thursday's announcement comes a day after police statement said that six detained men have been charged. The six men were recently arrested in connection with the May 10th nighttime assault on two British women. They are due in court later this month. The women, ages 24 and 31, were working on a conservation project when they were assaulted by six men wearing masks in an isolated stretch of beach on St. Lucia. This Caribbean report is brought to you by Emerald K Tires, keeping you rolling right. And that's your Caribbean report for tonight. And recently, the Herbert Gregg Home Hello Beauty Contest. Let's take a look at the highlights. First one up. First one up. See, this is why. First runner up is Miss Sylvia Benjamin, contestant number four. Second runner up is Gertrude Phillips, contestant number one. See, they might want to give me wrong paper. You see the same sub now? That's why you have to be an MCA now. They might give you wrong paper. But you see this paper here? Yeah? This paper here, yeah, the winner. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, our first annual Miss Pearl of Herbert Gregg goes to contestant number three. <laughs> Congratulations to all the contestants at the Herbert Gregg Home. When we come back from this break, Bogo's got your entertainment report. As always on Friday, we check out what Bogo's got lined up for the weekend's events. Thank you very much, Jerome. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Entertainment Report. First and foremost, we're going to start off with what happened last week. And I'll tell you, man, the weather got the better of us, of course, you know. And um, Relay for Life has been postponed till a later date. And we at WSBTV Channel 8 will let you know the date 
coming up shortly. Also, we want to talk about Baby Sham, that was also cancelled, and also Charlie Blacks and Daniel, which we'll talk about later on. But let me tell you about what's happening this weekend, this Saturday at the drive-in. KP and Frontline Promotion presents Hot Like Pepper, featuring all the way from St. Lucia. It's the top gunner, the mix master, DJ Clears. You definitely got to go and check it out. Also, King Paul will be releasing his new song, It's All About the Bumper. Definitely got to go on to the drive-in. It's just not much to get you in there. $15 before 1 a.m. Also, music by Double Impact Sound with DJ Will and Sniper and also DJ Top Shutter. And then we're going to tell you, don't forget this Sunday night at the 2 Plus Night Club. It's all about the Sunday night line. You can't miss it. Of course, there's DJ Carl Selectico, Big Cat Sound, MC Bogle. Definitely, ladies, go on out and get your foreplay on. And then we're going to also tell you about this weekend at the Sandbar. Starting on Friday night, it's all about karaoke with Bumpy. And then, from also the dance to the music of um, DJ Super P. So you enjoy karaoke with Bumpy and then dance to the DJ music of Super P. And then on Saturday night, it's Eddie Russell. You know, Eddie Russell plays some nice jazz music. You definitely got to go and check it out at the Samba. And then Sunday, it's a sun donuts party. Begins at 8 p.m. Of course, you're going to get music from the West Side Defenders, Fire Emblem Sound. So definitely, you got to check it out. And then we got to tell you about next Sunday, May the 29th, at the Malibu Fun Spot, Tender Moment presents A Walk on the Wild Side. It's a lingerie show. Definitely got to go and see the ladies. And ladies, you got to go and see the guys. It's, it takes place 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Tickets are just $20. Get them at the Lions Clothing. Strictly the best indulgence. And also tender moments down there. And Christian said, music will be provided by DJ Swain. And I got to tell you about Saturday, June 4th, at the drive-in. Lion Tribe and Caribbean City Promotion presents High Octane all the way from Jamaica. High Octane. And trust me, this guy is a very conscious guy with some real powerful lyrics. You got to go and check it out. Also, Black China will be on the card. The Mario Asterisi, Poppy Pops and Chubby, and also Cool and Deadly Sound. And also, the tickets that you purchase from Baby Sham, you can use them at the High Octane concert. So please go on out and check this one out. Also, we got to tell you about the Senkis Music Festival, June 23rd to the 25th, happening down there in Sugar City Senkis. Some big artists will be there performing the likes of Jackie York, Fantasia, gonna have Mr. Ali Campbell, and much, much more. Keep it locked on WSBA TV Channel 8 for much more information coming up on the Sinkies Music Festival. Now, I gotta tell you about something that took place in the VI last weekend. They are promoters and they are demoters. And there are some people who are from the Virgin Islands, but travel to the mainland, live on the mainland, and try to come back home and do shows. Some of them don't know what they're doing, some of them don't. Last week we had Charlie Blacks and Daniel here. And this promoter, he did not treat these artists good at all. Left them stranded at the hotel. Also, with a ticket fair change, they didn't have the money. You know what I'm saying? That was his job. Also, other people on the island was not paid by this promoter. And his name is, of course, to bless, to be stressed. How can you carry a name like that and treat people in that way? And on your poster, you have the heart, the audacity to write Psalms 23 and Psalms 91. And this dance is blessed in Jesus' name. You need to take a look in the mirror. Promoters around here in the Virgin Islands are trying very hard to build up show business for you to come from wherever you come from, wherever you live, and try to give the Virgin Islands promoters a bad name. We must put a stop into this. So I'm talking to the entertainers out there. If you can see this on YouTube, when you are booking a show for the Virgin Islands, make sure you are dealing with a genuine Virgin Islands promoter. Remember, whatever you do, please do it peacefully. If you drink, don't drive. Remember, the road is wet. Back to you, Jerome.